Hello everyone, it is so good to be able to have you join me today here in a beautiful sunny day in Colleen, Texas. Um, I have Kay here with us and when I saw him, I was so excited. We kind of laughed because I said, Lord, what have I done that I have <laughs> been able to find someone um, that has such great blackheads because he's got some famous I think great blackheads here. And so um, anyway, I know that he's gonna look really good once uh, we get him done. So Kay, would you say hello to everybody? Hello everybody. <laughs> so where are you originally from? I'm uh, from Miami. Miami, how long have you been in Colleen? Three, three days. Three days, yeah, wow. I just moved. Look at that. All the way from Miami came to Colleen to see me in just three days. It's wonderful. <laughs> so I'm so glad he's here because we are going to get him all cleared up. He does have a lot of blackheads. He's oily. And so we're just going to go ahead and clean all these pores out. So we don't have him on a pre-wash yet because he's just only been here three days. But um, after we do this initial treatment, um, we'll definitely get him on our wash. We did uh, go ahead and wash his skin with a 20% glycolic, which helps to exfoliate and decap the follicles uh, pretty quickly. But once we get him on the 20% glycolic wash, he'll resolve very nicely. And he'll start that um, most likely tonight. Now for home use, I usually use a lower percentage. Most likely we'll start like on a 10% wash. So when did you start breaking out? Uh, it started about three, four years ago. Okay. Started off with some acne. Okay. And this developed developed into blackheads. Okay. So usually blackheads. So this is a non-inflammatory condition. So the great thing about that is that once we get him cleaned up really good, um, he shouldn't have a problem if he comes in on a regular basis and gets his skin cleaned. He's how old are you? 17. He's 17, so between 17 and 21. It's a lot of hormonal changes, and so um, what will happen is that he'll have a little bit more breakout. Uh, most likely on, on men is, uh, young men is until the age of 21. And so uh, I think the fact that he's coming in and getting this taken care of, he's gonna see a huge difference on his skin. It is genetic for him. Um, his family is more prone to having breakout. Okay, I'm going right at that base, making sure it's nice and clean. How are you doing? I'm good. Okay, you sure? Yeah, I'm good. Okay.
here, um, mostly his problem is because he's oily. So, does the oils accumulate here? Get in that base right there. There we go. I wanna thank everyone that has written such beautiful comments on Daryl's um, page. Um, just reposted that he um, did his last chemo. He came in and um, brought me three t-shirts, one for me, my husband, and my daughter. I'm going to be taking pictures of that t-shirt and posting it on my Facebook page. Uh, we love Daryl around here. He knows that. And we're just so happy that he's on his way to fully recovering. We just believe God for a miracle for him and that he will supply everything that he needs. So whenever you're that oily, you want to make sure, um, okay, that you really wash really good through here, okay? Mm -hmm. What are you currently using? I was using a cleanser that they gave me in Miami. Okay. I think we talked about that. No, yeah. So um, if you use maybe like a... Uh, cleansing brush that'll also help okay okay washing your skin twice a day is important over stripping it is not so make sure that we get you a good moisturizer to help hydrate that skin and it's going to be more of a hydrating gel instead of something oily okay okay and of course sunscreen it's a must Especially because we're putting you on a glycolic wash, which is an exfoliator. And what that does is that it helps to decap not only the follicles, but it starts removing the dead skin cells. You might want to keep your eyes closed because I don't want anything to get in your eyes. There you go. Um, and so you don't want to over um, dry the skin. You want to produce healthy we want to produce you know nice a uh, healthy skin by hydrating it and keeping that acid mantle balanced with a good pH okay so sunscreen sunscreen definitely it'll protect your skin and it's feeling so much smoother So what I'm trying to do is just really look in here. He's got little tiny ones. You can see it in here. So I'm trying to get these out for him. How are you holding up? I'm, I'm good. So now we're going to go ahead and go through here. Now, if it's too much, if you feel like it hurts or something, just raise your hand and I will do my very best to kind of adjust my pressure. Okay, I'll be fine. You're fine? Okay, good. Are you excited about getting your skin cleaned? Yes. I know. It makes such a big difference. Well, you're very handsome. And I know that, um, well, I pray that you're, you know, that you just will enjoy your new school year here. I'm looking forward to it. That's awesome.
Okay, see so it's very congested again in this area. And you wanna really stretch, get underneath that base and extract, okay? So by any chance, do you clean your brows? Do you go through here and, and uh, shape them or remove the hair? No, I don't. So I'm gonna make a suggestion that you do that. That's gonna keep that from that hair coiling so much because okay. when I'm extracting, I see a lot of hair in there. So okay. that'll help. I'll make sure that I do that for you today too. He does have a lot of blackheads, so you probably will see one that I totally missed. But I promise I will get it, if not in this video, the next. Okay, I'm gonna go right here where the brow is. Okay, checking up on you, how you doing? I'm still good. Okay, now when you first when I first started doing extractions, your hands were um, kind of relaxed. Now you have them like you're praying. Are you <laughs> no, okay. I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Just making sure. <laughs> So I'm kind of lifting the skin up with the Q-tips and kind of gliding it to make sure that all, everything in that pore is kind of taken out, okay? It's 
so he like I said again he's got a lot of um, clogged pores And as you can see, kind of just cut right there at that base and then lifting that skin up, okay? Okay, let's keep working in this area. I'm going to go back and just kind of double check. Okay, right through here, I'm going to go in this area. You're holding up okay? Mm -hmm. okay? Okay, I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna square, kind of do like a square. Okay, I'm gonna go through here and uh, kind of clean up this little area here.
just kind of feeling through and making sure that we got at least most of them. This way. Okay, now we're going to keep working towards this half. So you'll see kind of I lift the skin up because it's um, usually when you have deep blackheads like this um, it's better if you kind of lift the skin up a little bit to give that cushion to get that blackhead to um, you know give out its content or the pore to give out its content so so let me give you an example for um, so you see I'm lifting see that skin go up like this instead of me going flat and to try to do it it's harder to get everything out okay okay you can see i'm lifting i'm putting the pressure here and then i'm scooping with this other one okay After I get done, I'm going to ice the skin and it'll look so much better. I know right now it's a little um, red and traumatized, but it's not, it's not a, it's not a concern like where he's going to get PIH or anything like that. It's, uh, just a little red.
Okay, there's a cluster of them here. We're gonna go ahead and work on that right now. Okay, you're holding up okay? Mm -hmm. You would tell me, right? Yeah. Okay. After a couple of extractions, we are, we're friends now. <laughs> So pretty much she's covered with a lot of blackheads, so it's just kind of looking at his skin. So today I think okay. we're going to only be able to work on his forehead, and then we'll record again maybe tomorrow. Unless you run back to uh, to Florida. Just ice to skin a little earlier just to cool it down. I hope you guys can't hear me chewing gum. I apologize. But we've been working all the way through. I haven't, I haven't had lunch. Just so I grab a piece of gum. cluster and maybe right here and I'm gonna turn your head a little bit this way for me thank you are you okay is your neck okay yeah okay
this little area could be a little bit sensitive. So this is kind of a longer video and so I'm just kind of concentrating on the extraction so I apologize I'm not talking too much but I'm just wanting to get this cleaned up for him since he is going to school on Monday at least we could have his forehead looking smooth. Now, if somebody needs to reschedule tomorrow, okay, we can call you and get you in, okay? Okay. Are you comfortable? You probably are no, I'm good. You know, not too comfortable, I think, but. Okay, I'm going to do about right here, and then I'm going to go on this corner here by the bridge of the nose and do that side. Um, and then I think we'll be pretty much done with the forehead. Kind of thin it is. Because um, he also has lots and lots of blackheads on his temple finish about right here so let's go ahead and go here can you breathe okay mm -hmm. okay
thank everyone that has joined us today. Kind of do a little video first, kind of just to letting everybody know we're about to post. So it'll keep you up with um, our latest videos. And so follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook under Nelsa Skin Essentials Acne Clinic. And of course, YouTube. So, love you guys. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.